Okay, in uh, today's video on Papa Paints, I'm going to paint with coffee. Now, not this coffee, although it's the same coffee. This is the coffee I'm drinking. It has cream in it. But this, if you see inside there, it's just black coffee. And you can see, can you see it? I still have my paintbrush in there. Because that's what I painted. And let me show you what I painted, and I'll show you how I did it. Hold on, let me turn this around. So that's what I painted with coffee. That very, mm, very brownish landscape. One color, monotone, right? So, all right, let me show you how I did that. Okay, well, this is going to be an experiment. And <laughs> we're going to try to do something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And I keep thinking about it, so I'm going to just do it. And if it turns out crappy, I'll still share it with you. <laughs> because I think I should share the crappy and the good. So anyway, here's my, my coffee for the morning. That's the one I'm drinking. But here is coffee, black coffee, that I'm going to use to paint a landscape. Okay? And that's all I'm going to use. The brushes and the coffee. <clears throat> I'm only using one type of coffee. <laughs> In other words, I didn't brew a darker coffee. I just brewed, well, just, just made a cup of coffee. I just made a pot of coffee for myself. And then I thought, well, I'll just see if I can paint with it because I've wanted to do this for a while. So I'm basically just going to try to because it's going to be hard to have darker and lighter when I only have one color. And it's kind of watered down, as you can see. But what I want to do is try to let it dry. Hopefully it'll dry quick. And then we can, um, from there, we can um, make some darker areas by by adding more coffee. Okay. So I'm just trying to do it easy easy scene here I guess I guess it should be easy just to darken it here just try to create some kind of a, a look here basically a landscape uh, possibly if I can pull it off a winter landscape but I'm not so sure I'll be able to pull that off so the idea is to use the coffee and I guess I'm gonna have to just let it dry because it's gonna be hard to make it any darker than that it's gonna take a while well this is gonna be interesting not a whole lot I can do. That's about all I can do right now. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I'll turn off the camera, I'll let it dry, and I'll come back. Okay, well, it took a long time for the coffee to dry. So, what I'm going to use from now, from the rest of the painting is this this is not a hair dryer it's called a let's see I put it this way so you can see it wait this way I'll make it so it's right side up it's called a pro heater mm, basically it's a heating tool it's kind of like a blow dryer but it's really hot and it's probably more hot than I need a hair dryer probably would have worked or probably will work, but I'm not going to use it. But, but I'm learning here as I do this. So look right here. See how that the coffee left like an outline? So I want to keep that in mind. I'm going to add another layer here to the background here. And now that I know it, it, it will leave a sort of an outline, I can sort of use it like a sketching tool, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to try to make some lines on purpose and then uh, let this dry. 
and then work on it some more. It's interesting how when you make it uh, thick, it leaves that outline like right there, which is very interesting. I didn't know it was going to do that. So, and, and I have a theory. This is learning as I work. <laughs> I've never done this before. I've always wanted to, you know. So, okay, okay. I'm going to try to make some, maybe some trees or something in the back there. And then when it dries, hopefully it'll, it'll look like the way I want it to look. And then, uh, and then we'll just keep adding layers as it dries. So it looks like painting with coffee is going to be one of those things that, um, well, for me, it's a learning process, of course. It's going to be one of those things that takes a while. Like painting with oil takes a long time too. <laughs> I, I I would imagine that both are as satisfying. This is probably going to be something. I don't know. I don't know how often I'll do this, but I was going to say it probably won't be something I do a lot, only because it's such a tedious thing. But we'll see. Let's see how it comes out. You put too much of this on here, just it just kind of flows where it wants to. So I try to do it gently and, and sparingly. So we have, and you got to just like with watercolor, you got to remember where you want the the light spots, the white spots. And I'm so tempted to cheat. I'm so tempted to use watercolor, but I'm not going to. This is in, in a way. This is kind of like. Um, wood burning. You have only one color that you're working with here. And it's the color of this black coffee. Now when I make coffee, by the way, I'm considered a wimpy coffee maker. <laughs> coffee drinkers who drink the coffee I make, um, I've been told I don't make it strong enough. So maybe if I made my coffee stronger, it would be darker, quicker, but that's okay. So this, this whole idea of doing this, by the way, started out, um, gosh, years ago, I, I, Robin and I did a radio show. Some of you already know that, but we did a radio show and, um, I would always have coffee and the coffee would be sitting there at the mixing board and quite often. <laughs> because I'm not a neat person. Quite often I would spill a drip or, or, or a blotch and just some would fall onto the uh, the paper that I was using to read from. You know, I, I would have my, my show notes, my, my prep material, you know, the news, whatever. And when it dried, I, I would see these patterns and then I would take a pen and I would draw around those patterns. But I thought, I wonder what it would be, how it would be if I could just do the whole painting with coffee. So, and I feel like I might have tried this already once before. I, f I feel in the back of my mind like I had a Q-tip or something when I was at the radio station and I tried to make a, a coffee painting with a Q-tip, which probably would work. Just adding some areas to give it some more definition, then I'll let it dry. And then I'll do some more. I'm not going to use that blow dryer right now because I'm afraid it'll spread the, uh, the, the thick areas. Like this right here is pretty thick. I'm afraid it'll spread it and I don't want it to spread. I just want it to dry right there. Right where it is. So I'm just going to let that sit. And I'll have to turn off the camera and come back to it. But you can see, hopefully you can see the landscape starting to form. Like over here where it's, it's, um, it's, it's warped. So it's got a little bit of a hill there and it's draining down to this area. So 
Got to keep that in mind too. Yeah, it's drip. It's um, it's pooling in the middle. Interesting. Okay, well I'll let that dry. Turn off the camera. We'll do the next piece after it dries. Okay, um, I'm back, and <laughs> from your perspective, I didn't go anywhere, but I've been gone several hours. Okay, so I gave it time to dry, and I'm going to see what I can do now. So I was thinking about it as I was doing other things, and it's going to be difficult because of the um, the one color, I guess, or the one um, shade, uh, and, and this is... <laughs> pretty black coffee I don't know but but you see what's doing is it's creating these lines so we're learning together and I think what I learned is just to go ahead and do some dots let it dry almost like pointillism so I'm gonna do that and and also I, I noticed that when I moved the card and <laughs> set it aside somewhere else that the water droplets th that were thick um, we're, we're traveling down the page. You see this one right here? <laughs> Travel down the page. So it is kind of a, a very interesting experiment here to see if we can actually paint a picture, you know, a good picture using coffee. And so I'm just br brushing it in places here. Now, what I do like is the fact that if I don't put too much on, it does look hazy, like in the background. Um, so I think I might use that dryer now just to see how that, how that ends up because it would be a lot quicker instead of wait, waiting so long, but you see what I'm doing now? I'm not really doing lines. I'm, I'm almost doing like pointillism, uh, with the coffee it, and it can, in a way it sort of looks like paint by numbers because they all have these little, little areas that, that are, are colored. Now, if this was a tree over here, which it is, these trees, they're sort of halfway between the background and the foreground, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so let me uh, get that dryer, or that heat blower let's see we by the way the heat blower the reason we have that is because um robin and i oh gosh a long time ago we used to do music for children our name was robin and the giant and um we made cassettes and we did everything ourselves we recorded them and we reproduced them ourselves and, and we also sh put shrink wrap on them and that heater that, that I'm going to bring out right now was um, used to shrink the shrink wrap. All right, so here it is. This is it. Let me see. I haven't used this in a very long time, uh, and it gets very hot. I remember. I remember that. And it's also very powerful. So let's see. Can you hear it? I'm going to keep it a little bit of a distance away. Can you see that? Is it bright enough? All right. See if I can get it to dry quicker. It's very hot. Yeah, you don't want to put your finger in there. It's very hot. Hmm. It's almost like a, well, it's not, not even, well, it's way hotter than a hand dryer, like in the public restroom. See, but it is pushing the water around, and I'm not so sure I like that idea, but... This is very much... If, if this if this works, this is very much a happy accidents kind of a picture here. Yeah, it's, this is filled with happy accidents. 
All right, I'm going to turn this off. All right, that's noisy anyway, but... Um, oh, I can smell it. I can smell it. But anyway, <laughs> it smells like, smells like coffee. All right, so I'm um, just going to let it dry naturally. So this is going to be another while before I get back to it. I'm, I'm half tempted to... Ah, let me finish. I'm half tempted to um, work some pencil into there. But then it wouldn't be a coffee painting, would it? All right, we'll let it dry. We'll see how it goes. Okay, well, back again. And um, it's dried now. And it's doing that little... Um, so little areas... That's pretty cool. Because we are learning together. I'm just going to put some more little dots on here. I, I just think... And I'm going to try to use the the hair dryer, the dryer, the the heat thing I have. See if I can maybe just get some more. If I think if I thin it out instead of leaving it beaded up like that, I think that'll be easier to to dry it with the dryer. And uh, <laughs> we'll see. All right, so let, let me just use that little bit right there. Put the dryer. Here's the dryer. Let's see. I was a little bit afraid to hold it on there before, thinking it was going to be burning the paper. Ah, if I just hold it there, instead of squishing it back and forth. It definitely smells like brewing coffee when I do this. Yeah, I see... Oh, see how it's working? It's drying it now. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. It's got one little fleck of something. It must be a coffee ground. Ah, but you see how that's coming out now? Like I compared it before to um, wood burning. It's kind of like that. All right, I'm going to continue that process. Instead of waiting so long, you... You're watching the video, so it's kind of hard for you to tell. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell what I did. I was dipping into... I have two coffees here. I have the coffee black here, which I'm using for the paint, as paint. And then I have the coffee <laughs> with cream that I'm using for me. And I just used a little bit of... I didn't want to use the coffee with cream. I don't think it's going to matter, you know. I one time knew a guy who was a computer repairman and he told me that well he worked in an office so it wasn't like he went out on call and he told me that if somebody spilled coffee on their keyboard the first thing he asked was is there cream or sugar in it because there's, there's only if it's if there's no cream and sugar it's not going to really do much harm that's what he said all right let's see it's the cream and sugar that's did it home all right let me try this now Kind of see it's all moving everywhere. I'm just gonna try to dry it right in that spot right there. And that one right there. And it's pushing back and forth. I'm trying to dry it right there. Like a deep tone right there. But it is very much like a paint by number set or like a uh, wood burning set. There, it's dry, see? Well, this is a new technique for me. Right there, some... Just getting it to dry. There. That's pretty cool, huh? This, this thing does get hot, though. It does get hot. Okay. Um, all right, let's do some more. Yeah, there's some coffee drops, in, uh, some coffee grounds in there. I'm trying to get this background darker here. Yeah, I think the secret is to... Uh, to do lots and lots of layers. I'm 
keeping the little river here untouched because I'm not sure what I want to do with that. But I'll just keep adding coffee. Just keep adding coffee and I'll go ahead and dry it. See it is see it's pooling because the the, the paper is warping up on a slant. I don't know if you can tell it in the in the video, but it is. Alright, let me go ahead and dry that now. I think I'll hold it around so hold it move it around so I can uh, kind of control where it goes. Kind of really have to heat up the water with this thing, otherwise it doesn't dry quicker. I was a little bit afraid to do it before. I think it was going to burn the paper. And I bet if I held it long enough, it would burn the paper. drying oh it started to burn the paper yeah it started to burn the paper you see right there see that area right there that's <laughs> and right there, that's the burn marks. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess it's all part of the painting, huh? Wow, I didn't mean to do that, but but in a way, it's kind of cool, I guess. Just kind of keep adding to these drops. The, the drops, you know, when they dry and they leave that little ring of of coffee stain then it sort of looks, uh, I don't know, kind of artsy, right? That's kind of an artsy look to it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of coffee, I think, to the river now. I'm afraid to use the, the hair dryer thing now. Just let it dry naturally, I guess. If I spread it out, it should dry quicker. But what I want to do is in the in the river here. See, if this was paint, what I would do is I would take. Oops, did I knock the camera? If I, if this was paint, what I would do is I would draw some or paint some reflections down here in the water from from above. So, and I think since this is the first time I'm doing adding coffee to the area that's the river it's still going to be very light like it was in the beginning with the other part of the card so i'm just gonna just gonna add some little areas of darkness here so it sort of gets that feeling of a reflection happening without it being too too dark just keep it very super light yeah I guess like that I'm gonna use that hair dryer it's not a hair dryer I keep calling it that just hope I don't burn I can dry that middle area without worrying too much about the rest of it Yeah, I guess the problem, uh, the mistake I made was I was too close to it before. And I, I held it in one place too long.
Well, my thinking is I probably won't do this very often, if at all, ever again. But I just wanted to try it. I've always wanted to try coffee as an art medium. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try and dry it. Maybe I'll call it done. But the thing is, I'm glad I didn't use pencil or anything else to accent anything. It just, it's purely coffee. Yeah, see, if I hold it there too long, it burns the paper. Don't want to burn the paper. Yeah, it's almost dry. See, if I waited in real time, it's for if I wasn't using this dryer, then it would get, take a long time. I kind of want to get on to something else. <laughs> All right. Here we go. A little bit more. It's almost there. Almost there. Just a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm done I don't know what do you think it's very different that's for sure can you see it there it is there's our little landscape done with coffee alright thanks for watching bye